Morning, peeps. Welcome to the Friday reveal of the Monday challenge. So on Monday, I posted this sketch and put out the call for anybody to make a card or project based on this sketch. So today, I'm going to give you some ideas of what I made. And normally, I think I would just post pictures. But today, I thought, because this is kind of the first time we're doing this, I want people to understand the process. So I, I'm going to ramble on a bit about it, let's face it. Uh, <laughs> so. I also want to maybe comment a bit on sketches because you'll notice when you see my cards, a sketch does not have to be exact. A sketch just meant to give you an idea and, and get the juices flowing. So this was the sketch I posted, which is actually this card from the annual catalog. Now, as it turns out, I, I randomly, um, another demonstrator had actually posted a whole bunch of sketches uh, like went through the catalog and figured out which page and which ones would make good sketch challenges and I just borrowed one of those. So I hadn't actually looked at the card ahead of time. So as it turns out, I don't have anything on this card. I don't have the ribbon, I don't have the stamp set, I don't have the DSP. So I was going to replicate the card for you so you could see that if you copied it exactly, that's what it would look like. But I don't have any of the stuff. So that would never deter me or it shouldn't deter you. So here's the card I made to closely resemble that. And I love this Whimsy and Wonder Suite. And I ha it just so happens that I was using it for something previous and it was on my desk and it caught my eye. And I thought, well, okay, I can at least get the pink part. So as you'll notice, the elements are kind of the same. I have a, the same orientation. I have a big square. Now, I... The white on the white DSP was a little too white on white for me, so I put a little uh, mint macaron layer in between, and it's very thin, but it was just enough for me to break up the two whites, so I like that. I didn't have, <laughs> as I drop everything, I didn't have a big stamp set that went with this that I wanted to use. I wanted to use these ornaments, so I just fussy cut a couple ornaments out of the DSP and put them in so they would look like a stamped image. Now this is the sentiment I wanted to do, so I did not pop it up on a separate piece of paper, I just stamped it there. I really wanted to use this ribbon, and it's a nice thick ribbon, and when I tried to use like a separate sentiment and fold it like they have in here, it just wasn't working for me. But I liked, I, I basically just pulled it apart and got this little tassel look, so a bit of it is just tucked under the edge. So I have the components, I have a portrait, I have some DSP, I have a square, I have a sentiment, I have some ribbon, boom, I've copied the sketch as much as anybody needs to. Because while you can copy it exactly, and then if you do, you should really give credit to the Stampin' Up! design artist who are the ones who made this. I don't know specific names, but we know that this was a Stampin' Up! designed card, so you should give credit to that. And your card was inspired by. So this was the first card I made. Now while I was trying to come up with which card I made, it, something else popped into my head. Like when I said get the juices flowing, instantly a different card popped into my head. So I'll show you that one in a minute. Uh, so that was my first one that I made, trying to, as closely as possible, resemble that. Then I made this card, which all I did was flip things sideways. So, well, flip things sideways and a few things, but... So there's your strip of paper in your square. I flipped it sideways, same size strip of paper. Um, actually, I made it a little longer, I see now. And instead of a square, I put a circle. Uh, I popped up a tree, just because, you know, I like trees. <laughs> There is a sentiment. Um, the ribbon that when I when I made my tassel on the other card, you, you basically pull off a, one of the strings out of the ribbon to make the tassel. Well, what you get left with is actually a piece of ribbon that looks like this. Here, we'll put it somewhere you can actually see it. It makes this very funky looking ribbon. <laughs> and I thought, I need, I need to do something with it. it. As it turned out, it was a lot harder to get it to, to stick on the card and still have those same like woohoo bumps in it. But if you just sort of wrap it, and this tree was perfect for it because it had these little lips on the, on it. So I basically just fastened it on the back and whipped it around there and looped it over all the little tree boughs that happened to be sticking out. So waste not, want not. Made me some garlic. Now, this holly leaf is courtesy of my son because I had made the card this far and I was staring at it and he, has, he happened to walk by my office door and I said, I, this card needs something. And he walked over, like, you know, the 13-year-old that knows everything, and went, uh, you need to put some mistletoe there. And pointed at the card and walked away. <laughs> now, this is what he means by mistletoe, holly. He's called it the wrong thing his entire life. But I knew what he meant. And so I, I, I laid one down, and I thought, well, that's kind of cute. So 
there you go. So this card is not, like if you saw this card, you might not instantly go, oh, I saw that card in the catalog. But whatever, it's a sketch, jumping off point. So then, this is the card I made that I just loved. And yeah, maybe it's because it's got trees. But I love the sort of monotone feel of it, the sentiment. And it does have certain things that are the same. It has the same orientation. I took a strip. I made it. I really don't know why I'm holding this catalog up. It's making it harder. Um, I made a die cut instead of just cutting out a square. This is a really cool die cut. Threw me a snowflake, some trees, a sentiment. So same idea. This card was in got inspired by the sketch. Because looking at this and planning out a card gave me this card. That's how sketches work. Now I could have made a big wall art picture out of this. I could have made tags. I could have made treat holders. So when I say, here's a sketch, make a project, make anything. So you have a few more days left. I'm going to post this video and the pictures of my cards and the picture of the prize. Um, I should have checked before I started my video. These were recently back ordered and you couldn't get them. Um, but I happen to have a spare full pack, so I thought, I'm going to offer up some sweet holiday bling for you. So, everybody who posts a project on the thread that I post this morning will be uh, entered in a draw, and I will just randomly draw for uh, a pack of holiday rhinestones. And then if I don't already have your address, you'll have to give it to me, and I'll mail them out to you. So that's how the challenge is going to work. You need to post your challenge by the end of the day Sunday, because on Monday morning when I get up, I'm going to do all the draws, look at everything else, get ready for Monday's new challenge. And on Monday's challenge, I will post the winner of this week's. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. Uh, happy crafting, and I look forward to seeing your creations. Thanks.